Ladies and gentlemen of the media, I thank you all for coming for our little uh, meeting with you. It was my great pleasure to welcome Vice Federal Chancellor and Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier to Singapore. Uh, we've met uh, quite a few times in the last year uh, in March in Nuremberg for the ASEAN EU meeting then in May in Hamburg for the ASEAN, uh, uh, for the Asia-Europe meeting, both of which very competently chaired by uh, Minister Steinmeier. <clears throat> then we met in, in New York also on the sidelines of the General Assembly when they hosted lunch for uh, small island states. And we were delighted that he was able to find a window free to visit us here in Singapore. It is a very good relationship, Singapore-German relations, uh, growing from strength to strength. It is a big presence here. Siemens, Siemens is celebrating its 100th anniversary in Singapore. Uh, there are over 1,000 German companies here, a community of over 6,000. German schools expanding rapidly. Uh, just a few days ago, Lenses announced a 400 million euro investment in the synthetic rubber plant. The new Singapore Flyer, which has only started spinning recently, that's a German investment too. And our relations cover a broad front, not just economic and political, but also in defense, in counter-terrorism, in intelligence exchange, education, uh, culture, research and development, a wide few. So Minister Steinmeier and I had a, a good review of those bilateral relations, and we discussed how we can push it uh, even further forward, especially in the area of R&D, where there's already considerable cooperation between the research institutes and universities on both sides. We also uh, found a little time also to discuss Kosovo and Myanmar, and we talked about how Germany in Europe and we in ASEAN can push to move the two regions uh, closer together. <clears throat> then there's also a little project which I'm personally involved in, which is to install a section of the Berlin Wall in my constituency beside the lake <laughs> in Singapore, which we hope to unveil on 9 November next year to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the fall of the wall. It is on permanent loan to us by an American couple. And uh, Minister Steinmeier said that he would, at the least, give us a video recording of his good wishes on that happy day. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. And Minister Steinmeier, if I may invite you to say a few words. Yeah, vielen Dank. Lieber Kollege Yeo, Yeo, um, dear colleague, dear Mr. Yeo, actually what makes working with you ever so pleasant is that you tend to, in a very successful way, pass beyond the well-trodden diplomatic paths and thus choose even more pleasant ways to intensify cooperation and relations between both our countries. And one example is the example that you've just given. Um, the Foreign Minister of Singapore has, uh, together with artists from the region, developed a very interesting project which will be inaugurated on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the fall of the war. And he has reported to me, and he's told me about the major events that, that they are in the process of planning on the, on the occasion of the inauguration of that uh, project. Thus, um, I am very pleased, but this is not the very own reason. Um, I'm very pleased uh, about, being, uh, about the fact that I'm here today. I'm very pleased also about this project, even if I, for understandable reasons, be the being or going to be the 20th anniversary of the fall of the wall, I won't be able to participate here in person not to attend that inauguration. And as a side remark to the German journalists, I would also like to add um, another very interesting factor. There's also another very characteristic element about um, the Foreign Minister of Singapore, something very special to him, something I did together with the Foreign Minister last year on the fringes of the EU ASEAN meeting in Nuremberg. We both participated in a German children's program on TV called the Kinder Enten Club. It's something that you cannot just do with any any 
other foreign minister. We try to impress upon kids why it's necessary for foreign ministers from Asia, from the ASEAN countries and the European Union to meet to talk about regional cooperation and about deepening and intensifying relations. As I said, that's not automatically possible with each and every foreign minister from the region. Thus, I was very happy to have him there. And I think we were not that successful in getting the message across, but we did our best, though, to do so. <laughs> dear colleague, dear Mr. Yeo, to avoid giving the impression here that we have but attended to the more pleasant tasks of foreign ministers, I want to be very specific and say that uh, we believe that both our countries have a special part to play and are playing a special part, each and every one in its regional association, Singapore in ASEAN, Germany in the European Union. We're both working very hard to continue and further intensify the process of regional integration in our respective regions regional organizations, uh, though uh, that process of regional integration is at a different stage, uh, depending on whether we are talking about ASEAN or the European Union. The European Union has already uh, gone a step further. Uh, one year ago only, though, only one year ago, uh, we were still talking about the possible contents of the ASEAN Charter, and now we're standing here. Um, only one year later, the Charter has been signed, the process of ratification has been initiated in a great number of countries, and we are hopefully awaiting the ratification process to end by the end of this year. And I think it will also come um, as a satisfactory remark for you um, to hear that Indonesia, the Indonesian Foreign Minister told us once we were there that Indonesia is planning to ratify the Charter by the mid of the year. I um, very much hope that the other countries, the few that seem to be encountering a few difficulties here and there, will be able to overcome their difficulties very soon. Although we are very much aware, dear colleague, that regional cooperation takes place on a different basis here and under different circumstances and conditions than was the case only 50 years ago in Europe, we are very much convinced of the importance of this process and thus are willing to give our support to this process of regional integration. And thus I use the occasion of my visit to the Secretary General of ASEAN to express the importance that we can Tribute to, a tribute to this process and also made it clear that we're willing to support the process of building structures within ASEAN at a European level, but also bilaterally. Thus, I was happy to be able to tell him that we will make available 2 million euros from the German budget to support the process of building regional structures in ASEAN. Now, as to bilateral relations, it's fair to say that those relations are good. We're very happy that we are not only the top economic partner within Europe, but that there is a growing interest amongst the business community and the science community. We want to make sure that this continues to be so by making available our advice and counsel on an enhanced basis here in Singapore. The dynamic of that process is illustrated by the fact um, um, that the German International School here in Singapore, and unfortunately I and the members of my delegation will not have an opportunity to go and see uh, visit that school today as we did yesterday in De Indonesia. But when you take a look at the growth of the, uh, the German community here in Singapore, which has risen from 800 only a few years ago to 6 thousand these days, then I think it's fair to say that the capacities of the the capacity of the German International School here in Singapore is anything but sufficient. Thus, as I said, this enormous dynamic, this growth does create the odd problem here or there, but all in all it's a very positive development which we welcome.